Do you ever wonder whether the relationship with the person you love is healthy? All of us want to be in a happy, fulfilling relationship, but in today's world of superficiality and abundance of choice, finding a long-term partner while remaining sane is much easier said than done. The initial spark is nice, but it takes a lot more than attraction to keep a relationship going and that is especially true for long-term relationships. So the question is, what are some ways we can maintain a healthy relationship with our partners and ensure their stability? While the elements that determine whether or not a relationship is healthy may vary from person to person, there are a couple of signs that are common indicators. Colorful experiences Many couples fall into the same trap of becoming bored of their routine or each other because they simply forget how to be spontaneous. Or maybe they never been in the first place. It's easy in the early stages of a relationship to do new and exciting things together. But over time you will settle into the same comfortable routine doing the same things and visiting the same places every single time. It may be hard to notice or realize this, but it really does make a huge difference in a relationship. The tricky part about this is that it may feel that everything is just fine and you actually enjoy what you do. But trust me, this consistency slowly becomes unhealthy in the long run. The pleasure of a new experience can remind you why you fell in love with your partner in the first place. It can help you rediscover how much fun you have together. And if you both feel like your relationship is starting to feel like a routine, these moments are going to be even more priceless. Accepting each other's past. You can't control your past. And the same goes for your partner, which is why in a healthy relationship you shouldn't hold your partner's past mistakes against them. There may be some things that you two find frustrating about each other's past, but at the end of the day we are all human and we make mistakes. These mistakes aren't going to go away no matter how guilty you make the other person feel. They probably regretted it a thousand times already, and you should not make it harder for them. Instead, you should try to get over whatever it is that happened. The best your partner can do is explain what and why happened, if they feel like opening up about this, and then leave it where it belongs, to the past. If they are genuinely sorry and regretful, you should trust them and believe that they are good people and you should keep in mind that nobody is perfect. By holding a grudge, you are telling them that they haven't learned their lesson. Minimize frustration When it comes to arguments, do you feel like you need to be right all the time? Do you argue with your partner about every single thing just because they have a different point of view? These both can be signs of an unhealthy relationship. As much as you may want to argue and convince them that you are right, it can backfire and only make you both angry and frustrated. At the end of the day, these arguments, which are a lot of times simply meaningless, are much less important than each other's feelings. Also, both of you should be willing to give in since it's in the best interest of your relationship and happiness. Now, don't get me wrong here, I'm not saying you can't be frustrated with your partner from time to time. Even the most loving relationship can be frustrating sometimes. Arguing with each other is completely normal and even crucial. It's better to argue instead of avoiding problems. It's always better to talk through things even if it's not easy. If you feel frustrated about some things in general that are not related to your partner, 
you should relieve your frustration by working out instead. Your mental health and mood will improve and your partner will definitely appreciate it. Communication This is another significant sign of a strong relationship. Whether it's settling problems, expressing each other's desires, or checking about one another's well-being, a healthy relationship must have open lines of communication. It is really key to explain and tell your partner how you feel about certain things or about them. If any problem comes up, communication is the most effective way to solve things. A lot of times the lack of communication causes even more serious problems than the problems you had in the first place. Remember. Everything can be talked through and there is a solution for everything. As long as you're completely genuine, open and honest with your partner. There will almost always be arguments in any relationship at some point. Some of them might be more serious and especially in these times, what matters the most is how you both work together to solve the conflict in an open and respectful way. Comfortability Do you ever notice how your body and mind relaxes almost instantly when you're in the presence of someone you deeply care about? As soon as you get close to them, you enter this secure and cozy bubble that you don't want to leave. You may notice yourself inhaling deeply and then exhaling with relief. A healthy relationship is defined by feeling peace and comfort. The right person should basically feel like home always. If you're feeling uncomfortable around someone you want to become closer to, you should try communicating and opening up emotionally with them to create a real deep bond by exposing yourself to the other without any filters. And if you do this with the right person, expressing yourself and not holding back your thoughts and feelings, you will feel more relaxed and comfortable around them and as a result, you will connect with them on a deep level. Overall, healthy relationships should mainly bring joy and happiness to both sides. Feel-good chemicals such as dopamine and serotonin are released by our brain when we connect with someone we truly care about. Just keep in mind that a relationship is not always rainbows and sunshine. There will always be arguments in any relationship at some point. But what matters the most is how both of you work together to solve the problem in an open and respectful way to establish and sustain a healthy relationship. Both parties must put out effort. Don't worry if you don't see some of these signs. If you really care about this person, you should always start with open and honest communication if you believe there is opportunity for improvement in your relationship. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it and consider subscribing.